Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. We were just out here together a couple days ago. If you don't know me, by the way, my name's Rachel. We've got a lot of new subscribers here over the last few weeks. And I just wanna welcome you to that 1870s homestead. But today is gonna be a really fun day in the garden. We did not have um, a purposeful garlic planting or harvest this year. We did a little experiment um, last fall at the cabin and tried planting garlic there. Didn't work so well. So we're really, really uh, running desperately short on garlic as a result. So I'm not gonna take that chance again. I'm planting garlic back here at the homestead for harvest next year. And some of you may have noticed in the mini garden tours, Rachel, why do you have a garbage can in your garden? So there is a surprise in there for you and for me that I don't even know what we're gonna find. So we're gonna use that and I'm gonna share with you guys what kind of garlic I'm growing for the year. Okay, so I just went and grabbed my broad fork. I'm gonna just do a quick broad fork over the garden bed, see if I can't find any surprise sweet potatoes still yet. And then I'll come back and show you what's in here. Okay, well, Todd kindly came out to see how I was doing. He's going to finish the last half of broad forking, but let me show you guys what's in that garbage can. Okay, so back when I made um, my spring bed that was new in the garden in the front area, and I told you I had my son clean out all the barn clean out from the goats for the winter and just pile it there. Well, I couldn't fit it all because the pile was like literally this big. There was no more room, but we had quite a bit left. So I shoved it all in this garbage bag can. And you're gonna see there's holes drilled on it. This was my compost bin when I lived in the city and I brought it with me. So I've had it out here in my garden space and I throw like little miscellaneous stuff. But this year, I just shoved it full, like packed it, packed it as much as I could with all the barn clean out that I had left. So we're gonna open it together and see what happened over the summer. Somebody threw garbage in there. Minnesota blue, Minnesota seed potatoes. It was probably me. Yeah. I thought it was a garbage can. <laughs> but, so this was packed, packed full. And it's down there, but I can't wait to see what it looks like underneath. But we're gonna use this as some good fertilizer um, for, well not for fertilizer really, but organic compost matter to put on this bed. Garlic really likes um, some yummy food to grow. So a lot of wood chips and straw, but there's tons of goat manure in here too, so it's not all carbon.
Look at the bottom of that can. It's basically, sorry, at the bottom of that can, it's basically just dirt with worms. That's awesome. But I'm not gonna have enough to do the whole bed deep. And only the front of the bed is getting um, garlic. So like the front, probably two feet. And so that's what I'm gonna do all the compost in. Hey, I have a whole crew out here helping now. Dan's even on the broad fork. Go Dan. <laughs> so I just got done layering the compost on. Um, I wanna share with you guys though what kind of garlic I got this year and I have lots of varieties. So lesson learned for um, beginner garlic planters. I had no idea the first year when I planted it what oh what it meant when you bought like a pound because that's how it's sold like half pound pound five pounds so I think I bought somewhere around five pounds different varieties of garlic let me tell you guys that is a ton of garlic <laughs> so I had enough to plant like 150 plants that first year and then have like a whole gallon freezer bag of it in the freezer um, so I did not make that mistake this year. I only bought one and a half pounds and then when Sandy came over the other day Todd's best friend's mom and gave us the canning jars. She gave us some of her um, Garlic that she grew. I got German red. This one is called music seed and then the other one I bought and I grew the German reds the first year here. They did really good. Yep. I've never grown the music before, so that's gonna be interesting to see how it does. And this one is the Russian giant. And then Sandy gave us Asian Tempest, Island Recombo, I think that Recombo, Premium Northern White. It's called Mountain Zemo. And let me pull out one of these cloves for you. That is just one clove of garlic. That's amazing. If you don't know much about planting fall garlic, you do need to do, or planting garlic in general. Northern climates, so you're gonna wanna do that in the fall. Um, anywhere from now, early October till mid-November is typically safe before the ground is deeply frozen. Um, Cause you do want the plants to get a good root start on them. They're gonna stay under the ground. You're gonna mulch them up here in the northern climates about six inches deep with mulch, whether that's leaves, straw, hay, whatever you have. And then in the spring, they start popping out of the garden very early. So you get, it's one of the first things you get to spy like March time frame. And then you harvest in mid-July. So it's a long drawn out process, but so worth it when you have your own garlic. So it won't take me long to get these planted. I just need to uh, break apart the garlic heads that came all together. Well done, Mama. Thanks. All right, I just got the German red all um, broken up and you wanna leave the paper skins on Here's the one lone sweet potato. I dug through this whole thing. I never saw one. Here's one. Unfortunately, I have no way to avoid walking. So I'm gonna just be careful and make like a pathway that I'm just walking on. I need to wrap up today's video. My neighbor just got out her lawnmower, so it's gonna get loud. Um, I still have this last bag 
and I'm gonna do just this section right here is all I have left of space and basically what I got in was three rows let me estimate one two three 25 to 30 deep um, or long so that's so then times three so 75 ish cloves and like I said we planted 150 plants the first year and it was way more than we needed um, so and we shared a lot too so I'm gonna just plant these and guys if you haven't considered planting garlic it's seriously one of the easiest crops to grow they do need loose soil they need a good amount of compost to feed on and uh, you just kind of it's like that old commercial set it and forget it you kind of just put them in place and then they'll tell you when they're ready to be harvested um, so happy gardening happy fall gardening don't forget all your wonderful bulbs and things like that that you can plant. It's not just garden stuff either. It's all the fun, pretty, your tulips and your daffodils and your crocuses. All those fun things can go in the garden this time of the year. A big sweet potato root. Something. What is this? That's a tree root. I don't know what that is. Do you guys see this? <laughs> Must be coming off that big pine tree over there. <laughs> 